I'm about to show you how to give your Windows PC a slick modern look by adding blur effects to your start menu, taskbar and file explorer. If you love that smooth liquid glass aesthetic, you're going to want to watch this step by step guide. Let's get started. For this step, we're going to be using Windock. Now, let me show you how to download Windock. Here's the website here. I'll be leaving the links in the description. To download Windock, go on to this download link and click on it. Okay. Then proceed to your download and run the setup. It's a very straightforward installation process because I already have Windock installed. I'm not going to install it for now. Now, we're just going to go ahead with the process. Okay. After installing the Windock app, go on to Explore. And the good thing about this Windock application is that you have many options. You don't have to install many apps just to get this done. Almost everything is in this application, which is good. The first one here is the Windows 11 taskbar styler. Proceed to details. Go on to install. Click on it. Ignore this warning. Accept risk and install. Now under Windows 11 taskbar styler, if you scroll down here, you can see we have many styles here and many options to choose from. To make these changes, go on to settings. And on the theme, we're going to expand here of all these options. We're going to choose translucent taskbar. Click on that and select save settings. Now, as we can see at the bottom here, we have this translucent taskbar, which is looking good. Now we're going to apply the same effect on the start menu. Go back to explore and this time on the Windows 11 start menu styler, go on to details. Click on install, proceed to install it, wait for it. Once we're done with the installation, go ahead to settings. On that theme, we're going to expand this, scroll down a bit and select translucent start menu. Go on to settings, click on it. Now if we minimize this, open the start menu. Now we can see that we have this beautiful blur effect on the start menu, which is looking pretty cool. On to the next one, head on back to window, go to explore. On the Windows 11 notification center styler, go on to details, click on install, install it. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Just be patient with it. Once that is done, go ahead to settings. I'm going to expand this. Select translucent shell. Click on that. Select save settings. I'm going to minimize this. Now, if you go into this notification center, I can see that this blow effect has been applied here. So we're done with Windock. I'm going to minimize this. Head on back to the browser. Now this time we're going to set up Explorer Blumica. Now we get to the right side here, scroll down a bit and select latest. Scroll down again. I'm going to select this one, release x64.zip. Click on that. Now we're going to navigate to the file location. In my case, it's the downloads. Here's the zip file we just downloaded. I'm going to extract this one right here. Just highlight on it. Go on to extract all. Select extract. I'm going to close this one. So here's the folder we just extracted from the zip file. Highlight on it, right click on it and select cut. We're going to go on to this PC, select Windows C and we're going to paste it right here. Here we have it, open the folder. Double click on register to launch it. You're likely to get something like this. Select more info and click on run anyway. Okay, on the X on this, then click on OK. Exit the file explorer and when you open the file explorer, you're going to notice that there's a bit of blur effect. So the blur effect is not so obvious. We're going to do something about that. Go on to Windows C, you go back to the release folder, go on to release. Now proceed to config. So under this light, we're going to a change it from 200 to 120. Okay. Go on to file, select save. After doing that, we're going to X on this, close the file explorer. Reopen it. Now, as you can see, the blur effect is more obvious. If you notice, I have these unique icons on this file explorer. I've made a video about this before. You can go ahead and watch that video. If you want to get these unique icons, I'm going to put it somewhere up there on the right side here. So watch it. That's going to be all for now, guys. Remember to subscribe to this channel, leave this video a like, and also share your thoughts at the comment section. Peace out.